Hey guys, it's Anne, and today I have a special treat for you. We are going into a viewer's home and touring it. She sent me um, a message quite a few months ago and asked me what paint color I use in my house because she wanted to use it. And she started to describe that she has a double wide trailer. And she started to send me pictures and I'm like, that's not a double wide, that's a double wow. <laughs> and as she sent me more and more pictures, I said, you know what, I think our viewers would really like to see this. She has so many thrifted finds. Her husband is an amazing carpenter. Um, they have beautiful stuff and the house looks gorgeous and she did it on a tiny budget. I mean, sometimes we think, oh, you need so much money to be able to get a good look, but it's not true. Most of what I have was free and thrifted, and she is a perfect example of a perfect thrifted home. You are going to love it. She's narrated the whole thing. It's all a video, and it's very interesting, so enjoy. Now, just one more minute before we get to it. If you wanna show us your home this spring. I'm going to open it up again to viewers, but this spring I want narrated videos, okay? Um, sometimes I do pictures and I put them to music, but this spring I want to hear your voices and I want you to go through your home, turn your camera sideways and narrate because I'd love to see what means a lot to you, what's special to you. I know that you're not all going to want to do this and that's fine. But for those of you who are feeling especially proud of your decorations, of your home decor, of all the work you've put into it and you want to narrate it and send it to me in videos, I will welcome them. So that's just a little aside now. Let's get on with Velvet and Dwayne's home. You're going to love it. Good morning. My name is Velvet. I live in Ohio. It's the end of February 2021 now. So you'll see a lot of snow on the ground. I've been watching a lot of Ann Clay videos on YouTube. Got a lot of decorating ideas from her. This past year with the pandemic, my husband finally had time to recycle our double wide. It used to be a light gray with white shutters, a white porch, the standard cottage look. So we decided to Dark brown, black shutters, paint the porch tan. Came together very well. Really pleased with it. Porch is eight by 20. The barn, old glory flying over there. When we had paint mixed to match the shed to the house. We have firewood st stored on the porch with tarp covers. My husband picked out the door collar and came home and surprised me with it. I think it goes really good with the dark brown. Our porch waiting for spring. Our swing is up in the air so snow isn't on it. Chairs are just waiting. A little kitchen table I use for storage. There's kindling under there for our wood stove salt for the sidewalk. And now we'll go in. This is a double wide. This is supposed to be the living room. But after our boys moved out, we thought it'd be more functional for family if we made the living room into a dining. And what would be the dining into our sitting area. I apologize. Back in December, we went up in the attic and got cherry boards that had been drying for years. My father had a sawmill and he sawed them out for us. So we've been drying them now naturally. So it took three days, the week of Christmas, for my husband to put this up. And then another day he surrounded the stove hearth with cherry on the outside with just enough lumber that we had left. Everyone that sees this wall loves it. 
A lot of my decor, you'll notice, might match Anne Clay's videos. I messaged her one day, asked her her paint color that she had used throughout her house, and she responded, Benjamin Moore. My phone doesn't like lighting, so I apologize. So, a Crocs we've collected through the years. The lamps with the tin shades, you'll see. Painted the shelf. We redid the windows and redid the trim inside. We put two by sixes on top to make it look older. Church pew, farmhouse pillows. Pink and cream throw. It's eight o'clock. Instead of curtains, we use blinds and we put signs up. I thought that looks really good for a dining room. Found pictures of thrift stores and farms. Found a stall door from a barn and the gray really, really matched the paint color, so we were really pleased with that. We did keep the TV in the dining room, kept it on top of the pie safe, keep old Bibles and books in there. A friend gave me this ladder when she was moving. I finally was able to get it cut down to reach from floor to ceiling, and I put tablecloths and runners on it. And this cupboard used to be hunter green. And neither my husband or I liked it. So finally, last month, I believe, we pulled everything out, laid it on its back on top of saw horses, and painted it. Took a whole day to put two coats on. Then I just put stuff together we've collected through the years, have been given to us through the years. We're really pleased how well the china matches the paint color. Thank you, Anne. These dining chairs were golden oak. And last summer, my husband, we went and bought some satin jet black spray paint. And he spent a whole day spray painting them out in his garage. The table legs were already black. And it has a brown surface. And I just keep a farmhouse pinstripe tablecloth on it. These glass dishes were my great-grandmother's. I bought a lot of them from thrift stores to help add up the collection. A wood stove. This is our sitting area that used to be a dining room. I got the shelf at a thrift store. We painted it. Put my grandchildren and our son's pictures on it. Picture from a thrift store had a golden oak fr frame and we painted the frame black to blend in. The lighting in here is horrible. Phone does not like it. So on top of our blanket chest that I've had since my boys were in grade school, I just threw a lace dually and opened up the photo album. These, this was my husband's father's childhood photos. I like how the yellow and brown really go together. Storage cabinet. Then I put Crocs. Mustard yellow clock he bought for me one year. In the corners a another table with a punch tin candle melter thing inside. He put in two five foot wide windows and over the top we put the sign family and friends are the greatest gifts of life. So we just sit over here and watch the wildlife in a backyard. We live in the Hawking Hills. Yeah. Over three acres and the deer come out and forage. The 
Oops, these squirrels. I need to go clean up the sunflower seeds once the snow has melted. But squirrels, rabbits will be out there in the morning eating. So dining room, once again, you can see how, how much better functional it is. So we can have family meals, time to sit around and gather. And just talk about life, how's life going. Our hallway back to the two bedrooms and back. I have scripture at the end. I painted the second bath a dark teal. I don't know how well it will show up in this lighting. Went on Google and looked at pictures of what goes good with honey oak sink cabinets and it showed blues and greens. And then I hung this on the wall. My husband's father served in World War II. He was a veteran. And at his funeral, a cousin had made a red, white, and blue grapevine floral wreath. So we'll always keep that. I like how the dark teal really goes good on the paneling. Great contrast. Our guest bedroom. I hope the lighting will go okay. I pulled together grays and greens throughout the house instead of buying stuff to decorate it after he finished the window trim. Green stool and I just threw an extra throw on it. Farmhouse windows help reflect light. TV in the corner because it is a home. This is one of those peel and stick things you can get at any Dollar Tree. Bless this home with love and laughter. So I'm not sure how well the shelf is going to show. Got a lot of my decor ideas from watching Ann's YouTube videos. Thank you very much, Ann. Another window. You can see how it reflects light. In the guest bed. Throw on the end. Another green cabbage roses. This table used to be on the Porsche. I pulled it in to work as a desk. I put a little black chair there, black chair. And then our grandson's room when he's here is across the hall. So it's no longer a toddler room. I finally went to thrift stores and found things to make it an older boy's room. Found this quilt at a thrift store. And that was the best find because the colors are so bold and bright, like a primitive home. A friend gave my grandson this desk. We found the duck lamp. We hung this cabinet in the corner after we painted it black on the outside and put some metal toys inside. Some older looking toys around for decor. The lighting is horrible, I apologize. We still have a shelf to hang. Found some vintage books for 90 cents at a thrift store. We found this paint picture for six dollars at a thrift store. My grandson loved it because it had a boy and a dog. It's just a print. The Red water well, water mill, I apologize. And the colors in it just were perfect with that quilt. Long ago, he wanted a picture of Jesus, so we went to a thrift store. Or, I apologize, an antique store. Found Jesus, and as soon as he saw it had a boy in it, my grandson wanted it. So it will probably be in our home forever. So I hope you like our two rooms. Still snow reflects out through the window and causing the lighting to distort. So he really enjoys it, comes and pulls out his toys and drives out some. So 
through. When my husband has a day, he's actually going to build a shelf all the way across the wall above those door frames, and then we'll put more antique metal toys, trucks, cars up there for display to make it a real boys room. So as you leave his office, you go through our master bedroom. Table we found at an antique store years ago is perfect for him. Our oak bed we found purchased when we were married. Been married 35 years. He built the shelf for displaying. A lot of this you might recognize from Ann's videos of how to display shelves or mantles. I've learned so much from watching Ann. Especially if you don't like how it looks, go through the house and find something else until you're satisfied. We used to have a TV up on the wall there. The bed was between the windows. These pictures I got from yard sale years ago. I think they're made from ink. I like to sign them in pencil. In the corner, there's a shelf with a fan. We have a vent through the wall to pull heat from the wood stove through this part of the house. And our file cabinet. There's no other place in this house to put it. Our closet doors. Some more scripture. I'm trying to get the lighting better. Tavern chair. Farmhouse pinstripe cushions on it. Ignore my purse sitting there, please. And I just kept the Christmas wreath on the middle candle for color. And I'm out about shopping. I might find a different wreath for the regular part of the year. I really love and messaging me on the paint color to use. So our master bath. Used to have a garden tub over there where you see the shower is now in his sink. It took up that whole area. So one year for almost a week, he took that tub out, put in a four foot shower, put his own sink there, took out the cheap double wide sink that was here, put in that one, new mirror, Found this little metal sign in a thrift store. It's covered with scriptures from Psalms, little pieces of Psalms from hymn books. I like the peaceful browns and blacks, creams. Found the shower curtain at a thrift store. The wooden mirror at an antique store, half price. I think it was ten dollars been years ago. Well, I'm not sure I remember right. And the shelf repainted. To paint our robes and stuff on. And then this closet he built he, is where the three foot shower was that came with the double wide. So now it's our storage closet. Best ever. I painted this door gray to match the trim just to try. But I'm going to wait and paint the rest of the doors throughout the house this spring. So we can take them down in one day. We'll take them all outside, put them on saw horses, and paint them all in one day. Because this was tedious trying to paint one door hanging. So eventually, this spring, I'll have more to do. So I hope you liked our home. Thank you, Anne, for letting us know the gray color from Benjamin Moore. So God bless you and keep you and may his favor rest upon you. So as you leave that part of the home, go into our kitchen. This double wide was built with an open concept. Came with cheap made of paneling kitchen cabinets and 
We saved up money and my husband pulled them out and put in hickory cabinets. New countertop. The windows trimmed them out. He made the shelf for me. Other churns from his grandma. Pie tins from his grandma. Found these canisters at a thrift store. I love how the navy blue and the earth tone just really pop against the gray. I know my lighting's bad. I apologize. There we go. They go so well with the hickory cabinets. Crocs store my kitchen utensils. Of course, we have to have a little toaster oven for my grandson's chicken nuggets and fries. I love these jar openers. Work so well opening pickle jars or relish. My husband loves to cook with his cast iron skillet collection. Pancakes for a grandson. Cornbread in the oven. Put in extra cabinets for my pots and pans. And over here used to it was designed to be a breakfast nook with a table. But when he pulled everything out, he put cabinets over here so I can have my own separate baking area. So my cake pans, pie pans, cookie sheets, all down below. Cutting boards, spices, measuring spoons are in the drawers. Up above are measuring cups, the baking powder, baking soda. Hurricane bowls, I love the green. His lunchbox when he was a boy. And then over here, he installed what would be upper cabinets that you buy for a kitchen display. And he stacked them up so I could have my own pantry, canned goods, box goods, a couple crock pots, the electric can openers and whatnot are in there. A bucket that his mom gave him. And over here, he redesigned the kitchen and put in an eight foot cabinet and countertop. For a coffee station, his vintage jars his mom gave him. Love the cake pan. Has up on top and down below is places for two pies. And above our fridge, his mom's cake and pie thing. Six bowls there. His sister gave me one year for Christmas. And I used them to make bread dough in and let it rise. I don't put a lot on top of my cabinets because I think it just collects dust. Just enough to pull your eye up. So we're really pleased with our kitchen. We found this table at an antique store out on the porch. Whoever had it had stripped the top and polyurethane or varnished it. But I love how the stripe on each end of the drop leaf is left dark brown. It really makes a nice contrast. I found a park design runner in aloe vera green to help pull the green around. It really goes well when you stand here pulling your eye through over to there. Then we go into the utility room. I hung my galvanized tins on the wall that we've collected through the years. And aprons. My grandson's elf on the shelf apron. And just a little utility room area. Just nothing, nothing fancy. Just cabinets, furnace, washer dryer, sweeper. Just a utility room. But it serves its purpose. So in April of last year with the COVID pandemic, my husband started working from home. So we turned the sitting room into his office. The walls and everything was all white. So we painted the dark teal, the gray from Ann Clay's videos. The fireplace around we had found previously at a antique store and it was dark brown stained horribly scratched. So after watching Ann's videos, we decided to paint it. Thank you, Ann. Earl 
oil painting from a thrift store. Some kerosene lamps. And I also found a weanback chair to thrift store with an ottoman for $25 and really love the pattern, the collar, subtle. Over here is a sofa table. It was burgundy. I thought it was too much burgundy, so he had painted it black for me. Down beneath I'd found down below I found this Pennsylvania Dutch painted chess long ago. And I just love how the burgundies and greens, the pattern that's in it just matches the chair and ottoman, like they were made for each other. Then over here is my husband's desk that we found in the antique store. And computers hidden inside also, his workbooks, paperwork, all hidden away. Painting from a thrift store, we used the greens in it to try to match the dark teal to really pull it out. We installed this door years ago to make it quiet in here as we read. And over here is my desk, my devotions and Bible reading, stuff stored away. Door to our master. And then up above, it's a double wide, so this is where they're put together. It's a beam. And he painted it gray for me, and we found this lamp at an antique or a, I'm sorry, at a thrift store for six dollars. And I've always liked these in Ann Clay's videos and I was very happy to see them. So you can see where the beam comes, makes a peak. So we displayed, hope the lighting works. He put a shelf up above the window frame after he installed new windows and framed them. My mom and dad, some kerosene lamps, rural paintings from thrift stores, antique books. I think that is made by chalk. I don't know, I'm too afraid to take it apart and see. So I'm, not, I'm just letting it go. Oil paintings. That's an oak box that was probably stained with fused motor oil. And I have a candle inside. It has a piece of tin in the back of it. If I burnt the candle, candle it would reflect light. There's mom and dad. So this room was a labor of love. He put in two five-foot windows here also. We painted that shed to match the home also. As you can see the green doors. So this room works really nice for sitting in here, reading, shut the doors for quietness. He's pleased with it. 